Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video of mine. Today I'm filming kind of like what I eat in a day video, but with a twist on it. I'm trying all new recipes, mainly in videos that I've seen on TikTok or just trends that I've seen online recently. I've been so inspired to cook lately and I have to give a lot of props to Fable. They sent over their dinnerware and it's just made cooking just so much more fun because I love making it look aesthetic and plating it and just like the finished product makes me so happy to see and also eat. So I wanted to show you guys the whole collection. So in my hand right now, I have the breakfast bowl. This one is the pasta bowl, so you can fit a lot more in there. We have the dinner plate and the salad plate. This is the flatware set and I got them in the gold matte color. Last but not least, you guys know I'm obsessed with any kind of glassware and they sent some over. So this one is the taller glass, and then this one is the short glass, which honestly, both of these could be great for just mocktails or cocktails or any kind of pretty drink. I have a lot of fun recipes to share with you guys, and I'm really excited about them, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna be making this morning is baked oats. I have seen it all over my TikTok for you page, but have never tried it, so today's the day. And I actually have some almost rotten bananas. <laughs> So I need to use these fast. So I thought I would do like a banana bread baked oats. I'm gonna try to link all the recipes that I found. I'm gonna use someone's TikTok recipe, so I'll link that down below. First thing it says we'll need is a ripe banana. So I tried to pick the most brown one. Next up, half a cup of oats. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, and I actually have this calorie-free one from Walden Farms, so I'm gonna use this. Gonna do one third cup of this lactate milk. You can do oat milk, but I try to save my oat milk for like fun drinks like matcha and chai. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, a dash of vanilla, a tablespoon of melted butter. Last but not least, they said to add a pinch of salt. Time to blend it up. Ugh, this thing's always so hard to get off. Next up is to pour it into your bowl, and I'm using my Fable breakfast bowls. I don't know how deep it's gonna be, because usually some people use like ramekins, but it should be good. My mom would be so proud of me. She always tries to get every last bit. A lot of the recipes I've seen says to bake it in the oven, but I do have an air fryer and I kind of want to try to see if it can bake a little bit faster because I think the cook time in the oven is like 25 minutes plus preheating and I'm starving right now, so I want to eat as fast as I can. And the great thing about all the Fable dinnerware is that they're oven safe up to 450 degrees. So I think as long as I don't put my air fryer up to that, I should be fine. Um, so let's try it out. Totally forgot that I actually wanted to add a couple of chocolate chips. These are the Lily's baking chips in dark chocolate. I really wanted milk chocolate, but they didn't have it where I was shopping at the moment, so these will just have to do. I'm starving, so let's dig in. I didn't expect it to be so creamy, and I'm not sure if I like didn't bake it enough. Also, I did 10 minutes in the air fryer at, I think, 350 and it's like perfectly fine, but I really like the creamy texture. I also added some flaky salt on top because I just like that sweet and savory kind of flavor. It's a little bit later and I wasn't really hungry for lunch since I ate breakfast a little bit late today, but I did want to try making crispy chickpeas in the air fryer. I feel like are all these recipes gonna be in the air fryer? I don't think the last one is, but I did get it recently and I've been using it a lot, so I will link it down below. It's from Amazon, but let's go ahead and get these seasoned. I think I'm gonna play it safe and do like some garlic, like salt kind of situation. And then maybe next time if I like this, I can like go a little bit crazier. Um, but the first step is to drain them, which I already did. And then we're gonna pat them dry with a towel. Fun fact, you can actually use the liquid from like the garbanzo beans can to make like vegan egg whites for like cocktails. I'm pretty sure I've seen that used in mousses too. So you can always save that liquid if you don't wanna just pour it down the drain. 
I really hope that I like this snack because it'll be like a good like savory kind of just like midday pick me up kind of snack um, just to like satisfy my cravings. I'm gonna use the breakfast bowl again and then we can season them in here. I feel like I'm not getting them dry enough so maybe just a couple more pats. Let's start with a drizzle of olive oil, some salt, also, fun fact, I'm like obsessed with kitchen gadgets and I'm easily sold on anything that can make my life a little bit easier in the kitchen, hence this salt shaker kind of thing. It's actually a salt grinder, so you can see there's little Himalayan rock salts in here. You just flip it over and then it automatically grinds the salt. Watch this. How amazing is that? And then it also has like a light and I saw it in a steakhouse one time and I immediately ran to Amazon because I knew they would have it. Okay, we're gonna go in with some garlic powder. Yes, powder, not salt. Do that next. Love me some garlic. And then we're gonna do some red pepper flakes. Just a little bit of a kick. Now that they're all mixed, I'm gonna throw them actually into this little air fryer coffee filter kind of thing. It's actually parchment paper, um, just so that they can spread out a little bit more and get really crispy all over. I'm not exactly sure how long I need to put these in the air fryer, but we're gonna figure it out and I'll let you guys know. It is time. They are ready and I did 30 minutes at 350, which I feel like maybe I could have done a higher heat and less time, but we'll do that next time. Okay, taste test. They taste like spicy. Oh, <laughs> I literally put red chili pepper on it, like duh. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be crispy all the way through because I think I would have liked that a little bit better, but it's still a really good snack, and I feel like this would be perfect on top of the salad. Oh, that one was a good one. Crispy chickpeas. So next up, we're gonna actually prep our dessert. I've been wanting to try these like chocolate covered peanut butter filled dates. I'm pretty sure that like people actually use almond butter to be healthier, but we are making baby steps over here and we're just gonna do like a little bit of a healthier version, if that makes sense. So we're gonna use peanut butter because I don't even know if I have almond butter, but we already have pitted dates. So first step is just to cut the date in half. I'm just gonna do a few of these. I feel like whenever I eat dates, they're so big and they're really filling, honestly. Even if you didn't wanna do like the whole chocolate covered peanut butter filled kind of thing, these dates actually can really curb like your sweet cravings. I mean, it is a really sweet like snack, so I definitely recommend it. Why do these literally look like cockroaches on the cutting board? It's kind of freaky. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna just fill it with some peanut butter. I'm not gonna fill it too much because it's already gonna be pretty sweet. Next, I'm gonna be taking some Lily's dark chocolate chips and just putting them into a bowl. I'm not really sure how much I need. I feel like I definitely overdid it a little bit, but these are gonna melt down and I definitely wanna cover the whole date. And as you can tell, I feel like the breakfast bowls are definitely my go-to from the Fable Dinner Root line. Chocolate is melted. It was a struggle, let me tell you, I burnt the first bowl. Well, not the bowl, but you know, the chocolate in the bowl, so. I just put the date on a toothpick and we're gonna dunk them in. We are struggling over here, but we'll get it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna plate them on the salad plate from Fable and we're just gonna keep the toothpick in there for now. They're all dipped and the last step is to, well, there's two more steps. I'm gonna add some flaky salt and then we're gonna just let them sit in the fridge until we're ready to eat dessert. Can you guys tell that I'm obsessed with flaky salt? I feel like I always find some way to incorporate it into my dish. <laughs> so for dinner, I thought we would make some hand rolls because we actually just got some sushi grade fish from H Mart. So we're gonna do some salmon hand rolls. I'm thinking about doing kind of like a yuzu, ponzu sauce 
because I'm all about the sauces. I already cut up some veggies. You just have cucumber and then some green onions and then I'm gonna put some avocado in it. I have leftover sushi rice. Last night we actually made spicy tuna crispy rice, which probably isn't the healthiest, so that's why I didn't include that in this video. You can just Google how to make it, but basically you mix rice vinegar, sugar and salt with the sushi rice and there's like a specific kind of sushi rice that you can get um and then it makes kind of like this sticky rice and it's so good i just took it out of the fridge so we're gonna let it sit for a little bit just get to room temperature and then we're gonna start making the hand rolls the bachelor is on so we have that running in the background so i'm going to show you guys how i arrange this hand roll on the b-roll cam I apparently suck at wrapping and rolling, so I don't know, that's not working out. But we already tasted them and they are so freaking good. So I wanted to share the sauces that I've used. Um, we did the Truff Spicy Mayo. I did this Yuzu Extract and we actually just bought this. This is my first time using it and it's so good. It smells so good. Like obviously very citrusy. Then I put a little of this sweet soy glaze and then the last sauce is ponzu. Dinner's gonna be messy, but it's so good. It's dessert time, but first, how did you like the hand rolls? It's good actually, it fell apart, but. Yeah, we need to work on the wrapping, but they were so freaking good. Like they were comparable to the ones we got here in Austin, don't you think? Yeah, honestly. For dessert, I made the dates and we're gonna try them. And he loves Reese's, so I wonder if he'll like this. You can give your honest opinion. Okay. It kind of tastes like a Reese's at first. Uh, <laughs> it's like chocolate peanut butter. Not bad. Make no date. Be good. The date is the point of it, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna rank all the foods I made today, starting with obviously the hand rolls. Definitely was number one. Baked oats number two. Um. This, number three, and then I think the chickpeas is in last place. Sophie loves them. <laughs> Sophie ate some? She was on the couch barking at the bowl because she wanted more. Apparently my dog wants them, <laughs> but those are definitely last. Like I think I just need to figure out my seasoning and make them a lot crispier, but I think they're like a really good snack to just have. Like if you're watching The Bachelor like I was today. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys wanna see any more cooking videos or if there's any specific recipes that you'd like me to try. Sometimes I'll post what I'm cooking for dinner over on my Instagram story. So if you guys wanna go follow me over there, it is so underscore gnarly without the G. And also don't forget to subscribe because I share a lot more recipes in my weekly vlogs. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.